So I'm just making a quick video on the X tool. Uh, we sell this tool and we have a, a few people that's uh, struggled with using the menus on the crash data reset side of things. So you can use uh, crash data reset to reset the crash data that's stored on the airbag ECU. So on this video we're not really going into how you do crash data reset. Uh, we do training courses for that. It's literally just how to use the uh, software of Xtool um, when you're wanting to clear the data from here. So what you need to do is uh, first find the coverage of this on the Xtool. So you get the part number, which is this number here, uh, the 5505415000 number. And you go on to Xtool and see if this is covered on the crash data reset module. So we'll go over to Xtool now and see if it's covered. So on the uh, Xtool, you click on the airbag module and you go down to the vehicle. So this is for a Peugeot, uh, as you can see from the, the um, part number sticker. Got a Peugeot badge on, so it's off a of, off of Peugeot, but you'd know what vehicle you're taking it off anyway. So you go down to Peugeot, and you open up the folder. Now you've got to find uh, the part number on here that matches the part number on here. So the start of the number is five five zero. And then five four, so five five zero starts here. We need five four starts here, and the next number after five four is one five zero zero. So one five zero zero. So it's this one here. So what that does is it tells us that this module is covered. Uh, Xtool actually covers three thousand. Uh, 3603 modules of crash data reset so it's a very good tool for crash data um, it's telling you that the EEPROM uh, if you don't know what EEPROM is again it would be best to do the course um, and you'll know how to work with EEPROMs, solder EEPROMs and everything else uh, but yeah it's a 93C, uh, 93C66 EEPROM so because it's a 93C66 EEPROM you now need to go to the EEPROM side of Xtool. Uh, so go down to EEPROM. That's a 93 C66. So you click on this and find 93 C66, which is here. So now you've loaded up the EEPROM reader and writer of Xtool. Uh, it gives you the ability to read the EEPROM um, and save the data as a dump file. So you connect the, uh, X, the Xtool to the EEPROM, uh, doing it in the right way. Uh, read the EEPROM, save the EEPROM. So once you save the EEPROM to your hard drive, you can then go back to the airbag calculator, put the crash data, back down to Peugeot, and back to the module, which is 550 And now you're on the right module, you can then use this load button and you can load in the EEPROM and open the file. Uh, you can click show and it can show you the current EEPROM that you've loaded up. You can then clear the crash data from the uh, EEPROM dump file. So that's cleared the data and then you save the new file. So 
So you save the new file under the uh, under the reg number, followed by crash date declared. And then once you've saved the file, you can go back to the EEPROM programmer, find the EEPROM again, 93C66. And then you um, load the new file onto the tool. And now it's loaded in, which is this will be the crash data cleared file. Then you press the right button here, and that will write the new file to the EEPROM. So it's just a quick video overview of how to use the uh, EEPROM side of it and the uh, crash data. This tool does a lot more of different things. It does mileage correction. Uh, we sell it on our shop, which is uh, the website for that is theobdshop.co.uk. And if you want to do training courses on how to use this, DP4, uh, many, many different tools for mileage correction and crash data reset, if that's an interest of yours, um, and you want to learn how to do soldering on EEPROMs, working with um, mobilizers and everything else and remapping, uh, we do all the courses for that as well. So uh, the website for that will be the obdcompany.co.uk and we're also offering online training for international students. So uh, if you check out the websites, I'll put the links to the websites in the uh, description below the video. Uh, if there's any other videos you want me to make, uh, just leave that in the comments and we'll try and get them made. Thank you.